Hey, what's going on guys? It is the SMT and in today's video we're going to look at something which I actually think is pretty cool. This may be kind of a, a new wave form to providing wireless service to customers. I think it has a lot of promise and it is different than most MVNO situations. So if you're familiar with Altice USA, and some of you probably are, they are an, uh, a cable provider uh, operator that we see across different regions of the nation. Anyways, they're putting their bid in now uh, as a new wireless provider. They're going to take their chances and kind of get into the wireless game. So they are going to be an MVNO wireless service, similar to what Comcast and Charter are doing with uh, Spectrum Mobile and Xfinity Mobile. Uh, so customers that are with Altice uh, branches, it would be like Optimum, as well as Suddenlink customers, you can now actually get wireless service from Altice USA through those two providers for $20 per month. You are getting unlimited talk, unlimited text, unlimited data, and mobile hotspot all included in this deal for $20 a month. So Xfinity offers it for $45 on Verizon as an MVNO. Spectrum works the same way, 45 bucks a month, unlimited, right? Um, but I mean, this is 20 bucks. Uh, this is like a legitimate offer. Uh, the price lock is guaranteed for life as long as service is maintained and never disconnected. Even non-customers, those that don't have any form of Altice uh, customer uh, connections, so even if you're not with Optimum or Suddenlink, you could still get the service for 30 bucks. So either one, whether it's 20 or $30, that is a very, very aggressive, ultra aggressive price point in wireless. Uh, I think the rest of the year is gonna be interesting to watch from Altice as they sell to their Optimum and Suddenlink customers for 20 bucks a month for unlimited wireless, both data calling and texting. So they're gonna be pushing BYOD, bring your own device, uh, they'll definitely offer iPhones and Galaxy devices, as well as, you know, other phones, I'm sure, Motos and things like that. Uh, they're going to offer financing options for those devices up to 36 months of free financing. You know, this is very intriguing. And uh, in terms of the MVNO, they do operate, depending on region, on the AT&T and Sprint network. Never both in the same region, from what I understand. It looks like it's kind of selective based on market. So depending on the location and the region, uh, they are going to be connecting to the uh, radio access networks in those cases, but they have their own mobile core, which is where things get kind of interesting. They have 20,000 of their own active smart, uh, small cells, which are in all T serving regions. And these are definitely going to be really, really fast and probably very high capacity. Now, what makes this unique and discriminate from other situations is AT&T and Sprint customers actually cannot use at the same priority that the Altice customers do. So uh, while AT&T and Sprint customers do get the reciprocal that they can use the access to these sites, they do get deprioritized to the uh, Altice customers. So that's kind of interesting there. Uh, Two million Wi-Fi hotspots are available nationwide with Altice. Now when Altice customers are connecting to AT&T, and or Sprint networks, they are prioritized the same way that AT&T and Sprint customers are as well. And I'm talking postpaid prioritization. That's where I'm kind of saying that this is a unique situation. I don't know what Altice did in their negotiations, in their bargaining, but they got their customers an amazing performance on these networks. Whether you're on AT&T or you're on Sprint, or you're on Altice's native, you are prioritized at the very top of the totem pole. So I really, really like this deal. This is incredible. At that price point, you're gonna be paying $20, and $20 if you're an Altice customer, $30 if you're not, and you're getting all of this priority and all of this access to AT&T and Sprint and to these hotspots and to these um, small cells in this capacity. And then you've got the Sprint and T-Mobile merger looming then you'd have access to the new T-Mobile. This is huge. If any other companies were smart, they would follow this blueprint and see if they could make similar agreements and similar uh, you know, contracts with companies like AT&T and Sprint and maybe even T-Mobile, who knows? You guys let me know what you think of this in the comments section below. 
I think this is a great deal. I wonder if this deal that Altice has is even better what Dish has with the new T-Mobile. I, I, I mean, it, this is incredible. I think it's great. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Drop me a line. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So go ahead and make sure you do that. And on your way out, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and share the video while you're at it. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Lots happening in the wireless carrier space. And of course, if you would like to get more involved with the SMT communities, we've got the Discord gang as well as the patrons page over on Patreon. You can check those links out there in the description box below. And if you'd like to support SMT production, we've got a PayPal share link down there if you'd like to leave a small or occasional monetary donation. Big shout out to Chase from Legos. You sponsored this video, buddy. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and uh, as well as all the others that provide super chats and monetary donations to support production here on the channel. I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch. This is the SMT and I hope you have guys have a great rest of the day. Peace.